Efforts to bring back a beloved landmark in Corpus Christi continue. County leaders are working with surfers over potential changes to Bob Hall Pier. As we've reported, it suffered serious damage from Hurricane Hannah two years ago. Andrew Christensen shows us what changes some are hoping to see. Now currently Bob Hall Pier is being demolished and this old design currently has two columns holding it up. The Surfrider Foundation says that that makes for better waves, but the new design has only one column holding it up and they tell me that's going to compromise the quality of the waves. When Cliff Slobbuck surfs around Bob Hall Pier, it's an exhilarating feeling. I consider the beach out here to be my home. Surfing is my sport and not just a sport, but a lifestyle. He's been surfing for 60 years and at Bob Hall Pier since the 80s. It has good quality, it has good length. It allows for all kinds of good maneuvers on the wave. But Bob Hall Pier now being demolished. Soon it will be built with single piles holding it up. Cliff Slobbuck is with the Coastal Bend Surfrider Foundation. He says the more piles a pier has, the better the waves. You can see white water in different spots. That is the surf break. That's called the lineup. It moves as the conditions change. And that's what surfers are looking for. They're looking for a lineup spot where they can take off. Um, moving to the one pile system. Space. Ryan Turner, the Coastal Bend Chapter's vice president, says if the current design is kept, surfers would have limited spaces to surf. We have all the surfers in one spot. It starts to become unsafe and overcrowded. And uh, additionally, that's why, you know, we would love to have that open as well because, you know, that's preserving surf culture, but it kind of spreads us all out and we get to have different breaks. The Surfrider Foundation is working with county leaders and the Piers engineering team. The surfing community is not asking for anything extra to be added to the design of the pier. All we're asking is that whenever the new Bob Hall Pier is built, that it doesn't destroy the surf break that we currently have. Nueces County Judge Barbara Canales tells me that she supports the Surfrider Foundation's changes and she's willing to put money towards it if needed. Reporting in Corpus Christi, Andrew Christensen, Chris 6 News.